be late June for both. Leon. Allison, there's a new at 11, a brewing showdown over a plan to build a pair of streetcar lines throughout Arlington County. It'll run from Pentagon City and Crystal City to the Fairfax County line. Some say that streetcars are necessary in the area. Others, though, say that they are expensive and won't do much good. Audrey Godfrey is live in Arlington tonight where supporters and opponents weighed in on the issue. Audrey, tell us about it. Well, Leon, this Columbia Pike area here has the highest bus ridership than any corridor in Northern Virginia. Now, proponents of these streetcars say that buses alone cannot accommodate the 2.1 million riders today, let alone the expected population growth. But opponents say neither will expensive streetcars. In a video produced by Arlington County, streetcars like these are touted as the way to shuttle around the area. No other jurisdiction in the country that has attempted to have a modern uh, transit system has done what we have. That plan mimics ones already in use in places like Portland, Oregon. But at tonight's town hall, there was no question many want the concept to stay out west. The $250 million design that incorporates 10 streetcars along Columbia Pike would span nearly five miles, providing a link from Route 1 through Arlington to the Fairfax County line. It would give the pike a Main Street makeover, while county officials say meeting the needs of an exploding population. The business community is going to respond to a transit system that is an enhanced transit system. But the concept, even dubbed a streetcar named undesirable, has consistently been met with resistance from residents, and their concerns aren't just over cash. The pike has just gone through a rejuvenation to the tune of millions and millions of dollars, and here we are talking about trying to dig it all back up again. They think that just by putting a streetcar in, that people will get out of their cars and walk. It's not going to happen. One selling point of using streetcars over buses is that the mode moves more people. But the only board member opposing the proposal says that's not necessarily the case. If there's a storm like the derecho storm we had or an ice storm where the electricity's out, not only does the transit system stop, but you've got streetcars all up and down the pike blocking emergency vehicles. Now, Arlington County board members tell me that they have applied for federal funds. They were supposed to find out if those funds would be approved by this spring. But because of sequestration, they say that that decision has now been likely delayed until October. If approved, those funds would cover 35 percent of this project. Live in Arlington, Atria Godfrey, ABC 7 News. Okay, Atria, thank you. New at 11, several.